Welcome to the demonstration of Tree11 iPhone application. This application is built using ArcGIS API for iOS. It allows users to exploit some of the core features of ArcGIS 10 platform through iPhone. The purpose of Tree11 is to allow citizens to get information about a particular tree or provide feedback about a tree. Using this application, citizens can report on status a condition of tree, add new trees to the database with its photograph, view and report facts about trees. To start the application, launch it from the applications gallery on your iPhone. Once the application is loaded, the street map is displayed at default extent as defined in the configuration file. To start searching for trees around a given address, Touch the search button on the top right in the main screen and enter the address in the search box that is displayed. The search term should be in the format street, city, state, zip. Press enter. The map will zoom to the address location and display trees in the vicinity of the address. The application also provides options to change the base map from street to aerial to hybrid. To view details of a particular tree on the map, touch any tree on the map to display details. You can see the details of this tree like its scientific name and common name and its photograph if available. To view facts about this tree, touch the view facts button. If you are interested in receiving updates about this tree, then you can subscribe to this tree by submitting your email address. If you wish to report an issue for this tree, touch the report an issue button. Select the issue you want to report from the list that is displayed. For example, let's select needs water. Optionally, enter a brief description in the description box. Your name. an email address. Touch done to dismiss the keyboard. Touch submit to submit the issue. If you wish to report a fact about this tree, then touch the submit fact button to display the add tree fact screen. Enter the description or fact in the description box. Type your name and email address and touch the submit tree fact button to submit the fact to the database. To add a new tree to the database, touch the map at the location you want to add a new tree. Touch next on the map tip to display the add new tree screen. Fill up the details of the new tree you wish to add like genus, species, common name, whether newly planted and continue to the next screen to add the date of planting. diameter in centimeter, your name, and email address. You can also attach a photograph of the new tree you wish to add. You may take a new picture or pick one from the camera roll. A preview of the selected photograph is shown on the screen. 
You can also review the details you are going to submit for this tree by touching the triangle symbol provided on the top right. After reviewing, touch Submit to finish adding a new tree to the database. The tree we just added is now available for the users of this application. To see the tree you just added, tap on Map Tip. You can see its details and the photo attachment for this tree. Let's take a look at the application settings on iPhone main screen. Tap on Settings. Tap on Tree 11. Here we see an entry for URL which points to an XML file available on a public server. The application picks up configuration settings from this XML file and can be easily modified to suit your needs. For example, you may change the default extents, URLs for street map, aerial map, trees, feature layer, locator service and locator fields and others. This application is designed as a configurable template so you can easily plug in your own feature service and use it to create your own VGI application. Thank you for viewing this demonstration.